India is home to all the major religions of the world. Its spiritual traditions and ancient philosophy are becoming increasingly relevant in a modern materialistic age beset with stress and tensions. All these traditions have evolved over thousands of years and they have come to accommodate all manners of beliefs from nature worship to monotheism, polytheism, even atheism from ritual worship to deep philosophical and ethical thought. The Jains believe that we have to face the consequences of not only our actions but also of our thoughts and desires. All this is accumulated as one's karma. To be liberated from the cycle of eternal birth and death, the individual must reduce the burden of his karma or actions through right thought and action and the practice of non-violence. Non-violence, uh, uh, ahimsa. It's been perfected in Indian philosophical and spiritual traditions uh, uh, in a very unique way. So much so that this notion became extremely prominent in 5th century BC. And then it was recycled by Gandhi in uh, the 20th century. And he, he recycled it precisely uh, by using the traditional Indian ideas about, you know, Ahinsa, which he was obviously influenced by the Jain and the Buddhist and the Hindu thoughts about it. Analyze the energies with your prana, with the mantras, with your actions because you show certain mudras that your body takes part in it, your mind takes part in it, your subtle forces, your breath takes part in it and all these things together will awaken the power that's in you. That's channelized and used for the benefit of either for you or for the mankind. <laughs> 